Punjabi Hari Jaya Radha Madhava Punjabi Hari Gopi Chana Palava Giri Bharathari Gopi Chana Palava Giri Bharathari Yasarananda na pajasana ranchana Yasarananda na pajasana ranchana Chamuna sira panachari Chamuna Dira Panachari Chai Radha Madhava Gancha Bihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama Rama, Rama, Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Bravo Para, Jaya Bravo Para, Jaya Bravo Para, Jaya Bravo Para. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jaya, 
Jayam Vishapad Paraman Sabhaga Jagajaya Sucha Sada Shishi Mad Bhakti Vedanta Sami Shida Prabhupada Ki Jai. All glories to the Asama devotees. All glories to the Asam devotees. All glories to the Asam devotees. All glories to Shri Guru and Garanga. We're reading from Bhagavad Gita, chapter 7, verse, no, so, oh, I got chapter, sorry, chapter 10. Chapter 10, chapter 10. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's chapter 10. Sorry, I got the wrong chapter. It's chapter 10, verse 7. Opulence of the Absolute. Itam vibhutim yokam cha Mama yo ve tita fata So vi kapena yogena Yu chate na ta sang shaya Itam vibhutim yokam cha Mama yo ve tita fatha So vi kapena yo gena Yu chate na ta sang shaha Itam vi bhutim yo gam cha Mama yo ve tita fatha So vi kapena yo gena Yu chate na ta sang shaha Chen Tam vi bhutim yo gam cha Mama yo ve ta fatha So vi ka pe de o ge na Yu chate na ta sang shaha Tam vi bhutim yo gam cha Mama yo ve ti ta fatha So vi ka pe ne yo ge na Yu chate na ta sang shaha Tam vi bhutim yo gam cha Mama yo ve ti ta fatha so vi ka pe ne yo ge na Yu shi te na te sang shi ha Tam vi bu ti yo gam cha Ma yo ve ti ta fu ta So vi ka pe ne yo ge na Yu shi te na te sang shi ha Itavi bhuti yogam cha Mama yo ve tat vata So vi ka pe ni yogena Yucha te ra ti sang sha Itavi bhuti yogam cha Mama yo ve ti tat vata Vi ka pe ni yo ge na Yu shi te na ta sang shi ha Sang vi bu ti yo gam cha Yo ve hi ta fu ta So vi ka pe ni yo ge na Yu shi te na ta sang shi ha Translation by Śrīla Prabhupāda One who is factually convinced of this opulence and mystic power of mind engages in unalloyed devotional service. Of this there is no doubt. Purport. The highest summit of spiritual perfection is knowledge of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Unless one is firmly convinced of the different opulences of the Supreme Lord, he cannot engage in devotional service. Generally, people know that God is great, but they do not know in detail how God is great. 
here are the details. If one knows factually how God is great, then naturally he becomes a surrendered soul and engages himself in devotional service of the Lord. When one factually knows the opulences of the Supreme, there is no alternative but to surrender to him. This factual knowledge can be known from descriptions in Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita and similar literatures. In the administration of this universe, there are many demigods distributed throughout the planetary system, and the chief of them are Brahma, Lord Shiva, and the four great Kumaras and other patriarchs. There are many forefathers of the population of the universe, and all of them are born of the Supreme Lord Krishna. The Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna is the original forefather of all forefathers. These are some of the opulences of the Supreme Lord. When one is firmly convinced of them, he accepts Krishna with great faith and without any doubt, and he engages in devotional service. All this particular knowledge is required in order to increase one's interest in the loving devotional service of the Lord. One should not neglect to understand fully how great Krishna is, for by knowing the greatness of Krishna, one will be able to be fixed in sincere devotional service. Wakam karo diva chalam bangum langai te girim yaki pam tavaham bande shi guru jiro chavinam omagyana timaranda sya gananjana shalakaya chakshu emiritam yena tasai si guru ve namaham. So, how do we know how great is Krishna? Well, for that, you have to go to the next verse, verse 8. It tells what is the greatness of Krishna. Krishna says, I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. So that is really great. Everything we see here in this material world and everything in the spiritual world is coming from Krishna, like beginning of Bhagavatam. Uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. It's coming all from Krishna. Uh, so uh, then he says, everything emanates from me. Same, same idea. Everything's coming from Krishna. Now what happens if you know, if you have this knowledge that everything's coming from Krishna? Krishna's the source of all spiritual material worlds. What would your behavior be? How would you behave if you had this knowledge? Krishna is the source of everything. Well, verse 8 tells you, and this verse also, if you know the mystic opulences, if you have this knowledge, if you're convinced of this opulence and mystic power, then you engage in unalloyed devotional service. Now, verse 8 says the same thing. It says uh, that uh, the wise who perfectly know this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. So we have to give our heart to Krishna. Just like at the end of Gita, Krishna was saying, Sarvadharma Pritaja, Mame Kam Sharanam Rajas. Give up everything and surrender to me, um, and I will protect you from all sinful reactions. Well, in Bhagavatam, this knowledge is also there. Uh, there's a verse spoken by Shukadev Goswami, which says the same thing. And in the purport, Siddha Prabhupada makes a different translation of this verse about surrender. Instead of, he's saying, surrender to me, Prabhupada says, give yourself to me. More like a lover and beloved. And so that's a beautiful translation. We must give ourselves to Krishna. We must give our heart to Krishna. Uh, if we have, we know, we know Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I mean, he's our father. He's the forefathers of all forefathers. You go back, 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 back. You want to trace your genealogy, it'll go back to Krishna. He's the father of everyone. So isn't that wonderful? We're all Krishna's uh, children and great, 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 great grandchildren. We're Krishna's. We belong to Krishna. We're Krishna's. We're Achyuta Gotra. We're part of the family of Achyuta. So how do we worship Krishna? We offer sacrifice. Um, so how should we worship? What should we offer? Uh, we heard in the ninth chapter, patram pushpam phalam toyam, fruit, flower, leaf, uh, water. You can offer to me. You offer this. 
with bhakti. Bhakti is the main thing. It's not the leaf, the fruit, the water. It's the bhakti. That's what Krishna's looking for. That's what we're not giving to Krishna. We're not giving our love. So he wants our heart. He wants our love. And so um, if you study the universal form of Krishna in this material world, you will see that the hairs of his body are the vegetation. They are, they are the plants and the vegetables, and that's what we offer to Krishna. We take from his universal form body, and we offer it to him. Just like um, when my... And then Krishna is happy. I mean, it's all his. But if we offer it, then he takes our love. Just like when I w um, my son, Govinda, was five months old. Then I used to feed him with uh, some oats, cereal, porridge. And I would take the spoon, put it in the porridge, and put it in his mouth. Then one day, this five-month-old baby took the spoon from my hand, stuck it in the porridge, and stuck it in my mouth. And I was so happy. I said, oh, he loves me. <laughs> and so just how, that's how Krishna is. Uh, if we give to him, he feels happy. Uh, and that's why we should worship him with our heart. So every herb, every plant has a purpose in the universal form of the Lord. Every oshadi, medicine, the, the, they're called oshad, the, the vegetables, the roots, the fruits, the herbs. When Yudhishthira Maharaj was king of this earth, uh, the earth produced all necessities of man in profusion. And the cow was watering with the milk all over the, the pasture. The rivers, the oceans, the mountains, the forests, the creepers, and the drugs also offered their quota in tax to the king. So not only human beings should offer, would, would offer sacrifice to Krishna, even the oceans, the rivers, the trees were giving their fruits and their flowers, and the, and the earth was giving vegetables. They were also paying tax because they are also citizens. The trees and the plants and the animals are also citizens of the kingdom. And, they are, and the king must protect not only the human beings, he must protect the trees, the creepers, the plants, and the animals. So um, the vegetables, Srila Prabhupada said, each one has a purpose, has a, a purpose to fulfill in the universal form. We go and we say, oh, these are just weeds. But Prabhupada said, no, no, these are not weeds. They have some additional value. Like there's one weed in America, it's a yellow one, and it's they, dandelion, dandelion. And they say, this is good for the liver now, they have discovered uh, the medicine. Um, the Ayurvedic knew it already. So Srila Prabhupada gave an example from his life that one time he had a toothache and he went to the dentist and the dentist couldn't help him, couldn't take away the toothache. Uh, you know, they just would take out the teeth. But in Ayurvedic uh, medicine, there is one herb, if you touch it to your teeth and all the germs will come out. So he went to one uh, village and there was one Ayurvedic doctor and he went and got the, this um, herb for Prabhupada. He put it on the teeth and his toothache went away, all the germs went out. And so we don't know, this, these, these weeds, these herbs, they have some, some great, great value. And so um, nature has its function, it, it, it has to uh, give us, just like we have drinking water. Drinking water is coming from the rain, rain is going top of the mountains and it's coming down in the rivers and in the, it goes into the ground and then we get our water. So the same way, just like we, we imitate nature, we have our houses, we put the tank on the top, and then the water comes down for us to use. So we have to, if we, if we are Krishna conscious, then nature will cooperate with us. And we'll co just like during Yudhisthira's time, nature was cooperating. The people were cooperating, nature was cooperating, and, and that's what, how we can control nature. If we surrender to Krishna, if we are Krishna conscious, then we can see how everything can be used for Krishna. And then everything will cooperate with us. Um, just like um, 
we just had, Srila Prabhupada gave another example of how we can control disease by chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, well, first of all, his spiritual master, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj, he did not encourage his brahmacharis to go to doctors. He said, you chant 64 rounds and you will be cured. Uh, so Srila Prabhupada gave example from his own life that there was a plague in Calcutta in um, 1898, there was a plague all over Calcutta. Everybody was dying. And so then one Babaji started a Harinam. And they went all through all the houses of Calcutta and they stopped the plague. Yeah, we could have, I guess COVID, we could have done that. But um, I don't know. <laughs> it didn't happen. So, uh, yes, we can take shelter. If we, even disease will be finished. And the Krishna does say that. And Gita, I will protect you from all sinful reactions. So um, this is Krishna's property. It's coming from him. It means it belongs to him. He has created the rivers, the oceans. He's making arrangement. And if we surrender to him, Prabhupada says the ocean will serve us, the river will serve us, the sun will serve us. The impersonists, of course, they disagree. Why should we worship the Lord? Uh, I, am, I am God. Everyone should worship me. So this is why we're here in this material world, because we think everyone should worship me. Why should I worship Krishna? You tell people, surrender to Krishna. Why? I'm God. You should, you should surrender to me. And so this is the problem. So the, the, but the personalist, he has a whole different attitude. He feels grateful to Krishna. Thank you, Krishna, for giving me this opportunity to serve you, to take the things of this world and engage them in your service. So one reason why we should worship Krishna is out of gratitude, because he's giving us all these things that we have to use. Uh, so out of gratitude, we should um, worship Krishna. Srila Prabhupada says in one purport that when man, human society is grateful to the Lord for all the gifts, for maintenance, then there is no scarcity or want in society. So we need this gratitude. We need to express our gratitude to Krishna by offering the things to him. Um, so uh, sometimes in the 70s, um, the Sankirtan devotees would go on traveling Sankirtan city to city in the USA, Canada. And sometimes they would walk into the supermarket and they would offer the whole supermarket to Krishna course, not the meat, fish, and eggs. And then they could take everything out and just eat it as prasad. Uh, they used to do that. I wouldn't recommend it, um, but <laughs> they used to do that. Um, so the pure devotee understands everything belongs to Krishna. Not only to Krishna everything belongs, everything belongs to Krishna's servants. The servants also, just like when the uh, Prithu Maharaj, he was hearing Krishna consciousness knowledge from the four Kumaras. And he wanted to give some dakshina. He wanted to give some present to them for his knowledge. And then he said, but what do, I don't have anything except your remnants. Everything is your remnants. It belongs to you. So what can I give you? But then he said, okay, but please take anyway. So it belongs, everything belongs to the Vaishnavas as well, the devotees of the Lord. So we need to worship the Vaishnavas. So out of love, the devotee gives whatever he has to Krishna. Sudama, he just had a little piece, a bunch of chipped rice. He was hiding it. He didn't want to give it. He was ashamed. But Krishna saw it. He said, oh, what have you brought for me? Because it was saturated with bhakti. Krishna ate it. And he wanted one more bite. And Rukmini stopped him. He said, no, no, already what you did, well, how much you ate will, will satisfy the whole creation. I'll have to... You know, because she's, she's Lakshmi. She, she was thinking, oh my God, I have to go to his house and give so much opulence. Don't eat more. It's enough, just one bite. So, because it, bhakti is there. It was saturated. So, there is a verse in 10th Canto, 22nd chapter. dehinam achernam sada. Four things you should give to Krishna. First thing is prana, 
give your life. So many of us have given our lives to Krishna from young age. I think I joined when I was 22. I was on the older side. 22 is like old age. <laughs> uh, mostly they were teenagers who joined. Rukmini, she was 16, you know, different. I think also His Holiness Sachinan Swami was like 16. I was like on the little old age side, 22 years old, they told me. But uh, yeah, we gave our youth for Krishna. So we gave our life. But you might think, well, that's too much. I can't give my life. Okay. If you can't give your life, then give artha, give your wealth. Give something to Krishna. Give some money. Give a donation. And you think, you may think, well, no, that's too much. I don't have any money. Pranar artha dia. Give your intelligence. Manage something. Uh, give some suggestions how to manage, how to run uh, the movement. Well, you might think, well, I don't have much intelligence or money. Can't give my life. One more thing's left. Your words. Give your words. Speak about Krishna. Chant Hare Krishna. Tell others to chant Hare Krishna. Distribute books to others. Tell them about Krishna. Pranar artar diya bhavacha. Bhavacha, give your words to Krishna. You can give. And so a preacher sees all living entities as parts of Krishna. They all belong to Krishna. Everything comes from Krishna. We also came from Krishna, all living entities. So therefore, Siddha Prabhupada, he was looking at all the living entities and he wanted to give them all to Krishna. I was just reading a book by my god sister Govinda Dasi. She was sitting with Siddha Prabhupada in a garden. And he saw one um, insect, a slug. A slug is like a worm, a furry worm, and really ugly. And she looked and she said, oh, disgusting. And Prabhupada said, he looked with very compassion and he said, chant to the poor creature. He was feeling so much concern for this little insect. So the pure devotee sees like that. He sees equal vision. The, the, the dog, the elephant, the, the Brahmin, the um, rickshawala, he sees everyone equally. He sees the ants. In fact, another one, another one, one of my god brothers, Narayan, he recently left his body. He was sitting at a table with Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada, he was across. Prabhupada was across from him at the table. And Srila Prabhupada said to him, do you see the ant? And he looked, he couldn't see the ant. And um, he, he, so he didn't want to say no because he didn't want to seem stupid. He didn't want to say yes because that was a lie. So he kind of said, yup. <laughs> a kind of a combination of yes and no. Um, and so, and so Prabhupada said, do you know what is your duty to that ant? First he couldn't see it, now he's got a duty to it. Um, so he no. He said, your duty is to make that ant Krishna conscious and our whole movement will be a success. So Prabhupada saw everyone equally. He, he had that equal vision. He had that compassion for everyone. He had so much compassion. Like Govinda Dasi, before she was into impersonalist meditation, and she could see there's no compassion in this impersonalist. It's just you, you, you want to make progress. You want to make, you are first. And you don't care about anyone else. But in bhakti, you care about everyone. Even the ants, even the, every, all the insects, all the animals. Uh, another, one more story about insects um, with Shudakirti. Uh, Prabhupada was sitting with Shudakirti and he said, you see that little worm over there? there and, and Prabhupada said, he's not moving. I think he's, he must be sick. Go and give him a little piece of flour. And so you know, he's thinking for everyone and everything. And, and so this is Krishna consciousness. And so Prabhupada had that vision. He engaged all of us, rich and poor, in Krishna's service. Some of us had nothing to give to Krishna. Others had something. Um, so Jayananda gave his savings to Srila Prabhupada to print nectar of devotion. Brahmananda gave his savings to Prabhupada also when he joined. 
I think maybe like $5,000, which was worth a lot in those days, like 50 some years ago, it was worth a lot, a lot more. Um, and then when Brahmananda gave the check to Prabhupada, he asked Prabhupada, can I have the Bhagavatam set? And Srila Prabhupada said, that will be extra. <laughs> So, and he said it was much harder to get that six, $16 for the Bhagavatam than to get the $5,000 because he didn't have a job now and he was a brahmachari. And so, um, yeah, and so Prabhupada, he wanted to make us surrender and engage us in his service. So we should offer out a friendship to Krishna. In Nectar of Instruction, there are six instructions. Um, verse number four, how to... Um, Associate with devotees. So, dadati patagrinati guyam akyati pichati bhunte bhajati chaiva savitam piti lakshanam piti lakshanam. Offering gifts in charity, <coughs> accepting charitable gifts, revealing one's mind in confidence, inquiring confidentially, accepting prasad and offering prasad are the six symptoms of love shared by one devotee and another. So, you might not be aware, but Prabhupada said in a lecture in the early days, very early days, 1966, you should do all these six loving exchanges with Krishna also. We should make friendship with Krishna and do these, offer food, accept prasad, reveal your, your mind, and inquire confidentially. Here, here are the answers to your questions. Accept prasad. Uh, and offer gifts to Krishna and accept gifts from Krishna. And Krishna reciprocates. Just like this morning, I went and I gave a, do a little, some donation in donation box. Immediately I got a garland from Balaram. I, um, Krishna reciprocates with me. I said, wow, <laughs> thank you, Balaram. And he gave me, I'm allergic to these kind, but he gave me a rose garland, which I'm not allergic to. And so I thought, wow, he's, he's very personal with me. Um, so, Prabhupada explains that we, have, we must have these six exchanges. If you want to make friendship with somebody very great, then you have to give him a gift. You have to give him a gift. So you have to practice how to love Krishna. So Prabhupada tells how to practice how to love Krishna. What is the practice? Get up early in the morning. You don't like to, Prabhupada says. But you think, I will, I'll get up early to satisfy Krishna. This is the beginning. Then, oh, I have to chant 16 rounds. Sri Prabhupada said, you may be lazy. You may not want to do it. But if you want to love Krishna, then you must do it. So in the beginning, we have to learn how to love Krishna. And when we come to the state of love of God, then you don't think, oh, I have to chant. You can't wait. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get, have my shower and get my hand in my bead bag and start chanting. Yes, my beads are waiting for me. I can't wait to have my relationship with Krishna while I chant. And so this is, this is spontaneous. I, I saw when I was in Jaipur um, in, uh, many, many years ago, they have uh, Mangalarti and they have this Radha Govinda deities and everybody comes to Mangalarti. So before Mangalarti, like half an hour before, I was in my hotel room and I heard people running in the streets shouting, Govinda, 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 spontaneous love. <laughs> they were sh running, running to Mangalarti and shouting. They couldn't wait to see Govinda, uh, Govinda in Jaipur. So, and so about inquiring confidentially is when you go and pray to Krishna, then you're revealing your mind. And when we were new devotees in 1970, our, our practice was everybody had to go up. We, had, we made it one day in a week in front and go to the deities and tell them, this is the service I did for you this week and these are my problems, please help me. And uh, one, we had to wait in a queue, in a line, and everybody had to go up one at a time and reveal your mind to the deities. And there were 65 of us, so it took quite a while. Anyway, yes, when we go to the deities, you can pray. You can, it, praying is talking to Krishna, and Krishna will 
talk back. He will give you answers. I was doing one seminar on this point and we were practicing talking to the deities and getting answers. So um, one devotee, he was going on Harinam, but nobody was coming on Harinam with him. So he expressed this to the deities, uh, Gordi Chai, that nobody's coming with me on Harinam. And what's the answer he got? Don't you see, we are coming with you on Harinam, Gordi Chai said to him. <laughs> And, and afterwards, this devotee became part of Harinam Ruchi and traveling all over the world. <laughs> so, um, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's there. Krishna will talk to you. If you pray, you will get your answer. It may not come the answer you want from Krishna. It may come a different answer. So you have to be very alert to see. And so, um, this is uh, in London, Srila Prabhupada, uh, came into the airport and um, I'll tell you two different times. One time he came and the reporter said, so why have you come to London? And Prabhupada said, well, you came to India and you took so many things from us, you took all our resources, but one thing you forgot to take and that is our culture our Krishna consciousness. So I have come to give you what you forgot to take. And so, and another time, another time in the airport in London, everyone was bowing down on the floor as soon as Prabhupada came. So the reporter said to Prabhupada, do you think you are God? And Srila Prabhupada said, spiritual master should be given all respects as God. But if he thinks he's God, then he's a dog. <laughs> so, he always had the perfect answers for, for the reporters. They couldn't win. They couldn't win. So um, if you check the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, you will find on her foot, one of her feet, there is a mark of a sacrificial altar. Now, one of the meanings of this mark is that the offering, whatever we offer to Krishna is the universal form. Krishna, Krishna is the offering. It's coming from the universal form of Krishna. Universe is the form of Krishna. And the offering is the form of Radha. So what we take is Krishna, and when we offer, it's Radha. So when we offer something to Krishna, we are uniting Radha and Krishna on the sacrificial altar of sacrifice. Krishna is universal form, offering is Radha. When we offer, we take something. Krishna form is his body, so we take it and we offer to Krishna, then Radharani is the offering. When we offer, it's Bhakti. Radharani is in charge of Bhakti. So the bhakti must be there. So the sages of Naimisharanya, uh, they had a realization while performing their sacrifice that uh, we have just begun the performance of this um, fruit of activities, karma, karma, kanda, sacrifice, sacrificial fire. They had a fire without certainty of its result due to the many imperfections in their actions. So the fire was smoking a lot. It wasn't really coming to a nice fire. They said, but we are very pleased by the nectar of the lotus feet of the Lord Govinda, which you are distributing. So the sacrifice, sacrificial fire, is not, is not for Kali Yuga, although we do do sacrificial fires, but the main sacrifice is chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And this is where we unite Radha and Krishna. Hare and Krishna go together, Radha and Krishna. So I'll stop here. If you have any questions, you can ask at this point. Nobody has any questions. Okay. Jai, all glories to Prabhupada, Hare Krishna.